रामाय रामभद्राय रामचंद्राय वेद से रघुनाथ हाय नाथाय सीताय पथ ए नम उत्तरकांड चैप्टर नंबर सेवेंटी सेवन किंग मांदात एंड लवनासुर The recitation begins now. Thereupon, when the night set in, Shatrukna accosted Bhrigu's son Chyavana, saying, "O Brahmana, how powerful is Lavana Sura, and what is the strength of his dart? What persons before had been destroyed by this dart in conflict?" Hearing the words of the high-souled descendant of Raghu, Shatrukna, the highly effulgent Chyavana replied, saying, "O descendant of King Raghu." Lavana hath accomplished many works by this dart. Amongst them, hear what Mandhata, born in the race of Ikshvaku, did. The early king of Ayodhya was known over the three worlds under the name of Mandhata. He was a son of Yavanashwa, highly powerful and strong. Having brought the whole world under his subjection, the king Mandhata engaged in the conquest of the celestial region. and having been engaged in making proper preparations to conquer the world of gods the celestial chief indra with other immortals was greatly terrified with this promise the king mandhata went up into the celestial region that he would occupy the half of indra's throne and kingdom and the celestials would adore him Being apprised of this vicious intention of his indra the slayer of paka consoled him in sweet words saying O foremost of men even in the land of man thou hast not been able to become the real king without perfectly subjugating the earth how dost thou wish to lord over the celestial kingdom if the whole world is under thy subjection o hero be thou with the whole host of thy servants and soldiers installed on the celestial throne Indra having said this the high soul Mandhata replied O Shakra who on this earth had disobeyed my commands where to Indra replied O sinless one the night ranger Lavana Madhu's son living in Madhavana is not under thy control hearing those dreadful and unpleasant words from Indra the king lowered his head in shame and became silent Thereupon having welcomed Indra in that way he left there and returned to the earth O slayer of enemies with a heavy heart and angry one army and conveyance he went to subjugate Madhus and Lavana and sent an emissary inviting him to battle The ambassador having gone there addressed many unpleasant words unto Lavana and the night ranger devoured him On the other hand finding the delay of his return the king mandhata enraged began to assail the rakshasa lavana with arrows from all sides laughing wild lavana took up the dart in his hand and discharged it to destroy the king with his followers thereupon growing powerful the dart reduced the king with his servants and army into ashes and returned to lavana In this wise the high-souled king Mandhata with his huge army was slain. O gentle hero, incomparable and great is the strength of the dart. Forsooth thou shalt slay Lavana next morning. Certain is thy victory if Lavana cannot take up this dart. People shall be at ease if thou canst bring about the destruction of this Lavana sura. O foremost of men I shall then describe to thee the incomparable and dreadful prowess of the vicious soul Lavana and his dart O king with great exertions did Lavana slay Mandhata and not easily the high minded one next morning thou shalt surely destroy Lavana he shall issue out for flesh without taking his dart and at that time O lord of men thou shalt forsooth be crowned with victory मंगलम कौशलेन्द्राय महनीय गुणाते चक्रवर्ती धनुर्जय सर्वभौमाय मंगलम